this is a heart shape. Would you believe if I say the structure of this heart is followed by mathematical calculation? Hmm, it might seem like <laughs> insane thinking, right? But it's true. I really find an interesting mathematical calculation with this heart shape. I precisely calculate the surface area of this heart using some basic geometry. I am Robbie, an educator and filmmaker. Sit tightly and enjoy it. To measure the surface area of this heart, first what I have to do, I am connecting this, this point to that point. And I am connecting a line in between these two points. After connecting these two lengths, this is a perfect square shape inside of this heart. Let us consider the side length of this square is 3 cm. This 3 cm is just random number. You can choose any other number. For me, I am choosing this 3 cm for my simplification. So interestingly, look at this heart shape. This is now subdivided into three portion. One portion is half circle. This is another half circle and this is square shape. So if I somehow calculate the surface area of this half circle and that half circle plus the surface area of this square, the so summation of this part is the equal surface area of this heart. Now it makes sense, right? Finding the center point of this side length. Since this whole length is three centimeter here, so here to here is 1.5 centimeter because this is half. Now I am connecting this point like this way. This is radius of this half circle. Now we know the radius of this half circle is 1.5. At this point we can calculate the surface area of this half circle by using this formula pi r square. This is the formula that can be used to calculate the surface area of a full circle in where pi is 3.1416 and r is 1.5 whole square. This r means radius. For our case, this is 1.5. If we multiply these two values, this is equals to 7.06. Let's say the unit is centimeter square. But this is the surface area of a full circle. But for our case, it is the half circle. So what I can do, I can divide this value by 2, which is equals to 3.53 centimeter square. So 3.53 is the surface area of this half circle. Look at here, we have two half circle. One is here, another one is here, and they have the same value. So this is 3.53, and that half circle also the surface area 3.53 centimeter square. Now. At this point, I can calculate the surface area of this square in where the side length of this square is 3 cm. So what can I do? Surface area of this square is side length. One side length is 3 and another side length is 3. So 3 times 3 equals 9. This is centimeter square. Look at here. I got the surface area of this value, this half circle, that half circle and this square. So if I summation, make a summation, this area, that area and this square, uh, yeah, square, then I can get the total surface area of this heart. Is not it simple? Total surface area of heart is what I can do 3.53. 3.53 plus this 3.53 and this value also 3.53 plus and this surface area of this square is 9 which is equals to 16.06 centimeter square yes yes this is the value of this surface area is not it simple Wait, 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 don't go. I have another interesting calculation. If I draw a circle around the edge of this heart, do you know what is the radius of this heart? Not, not anything, just radius of this heart. Yes, this is also possible. Just sit tightly and just enjoy the rest, uh, rest of the video. In order to calculate the radius of this heart, first I have to calculate the center of this heart. Let's say the center of this heart is exactly somewhere in this point. Um, I can draw it like this way. Let's say this is the center of this heart. This point is the center. Now look at this length. This total length is the radius of this full circle. Let us consider this radius is R. 
small r right this total radius from here to here but this length is 1.5 and total length is r so this part is r minus 1.5 this part i can say r minus 1.5 that means from here to here this length is r minus 1.5 now what i am doing i am just drawing this this length i am drawing the diameter of this full circle and this diameter cross exactly the diagonal of this square right look at here this is the diagonal of this square so what is the length of this diagonal of this square it is very simple because see this side length is 1.5 and that si sorry this side length is 3 cm and this side length is 3 cm so and this is a right angle triangle so what i can do i can draw this this triangle exactly like this way so this is 3 cm and this is 3 cm so length is let's say this is y so y equals to y square equals 3 square plus 3 square or i can say y equals to square root 3 square plus 3 square which is equals to 3 square root 2 that means y is 3 square root 2 so this total value is this total value is 3 square root 2 from he, this point to that point interestingly look at here this is the radius of this full circle that means this is also r from that point to this point r so i am getting the diagonal of this square is 3 square root over 2 and this this part is radius of this full circle so that one should be 3 square root 2 minus r that means full length minus this length equal to that length at this point from this triangle i can calculate the value of this r if i rewrite this triangle in a separate paper exactly this way look at here this length is 1.5 this length is r minus 1.5 and that length is 3 squared over 2 minus r if i write this if i draw this triangle in a separate uh, paper then i can use a very famous law which is called alkashis laws of cosine and this alkashis law of cosine is pretty much complex that i am not um, explaining in this video alkashis law of cosine which is equals to c square and this c is here equals a square this a is here plus b square this b is here this length minus 2ab and that is called cos theta as i told you before this angle is 45 degree because this angle 45 degree because this full angle is 90 90 degree that is divided by half that means this angle is 45 degree so at this point of this calculation or this law i can calculate the radius of r rewriting this value here whole square equals a means 1.5 whole square plus b means 3 square root 2 minus r whole square minus 2 times a means 1.5 b means 3 square root about 2 minus r and then cos theta one that means cos 45 degree to make a simplification for this video we are doing very quick calculation after the calculation we get the radius of this uh, circle which is equals to if i calculate this value i will get r equals to 2.67 centimeter yes this 2.67 is the answer this is the right answer is not it interesting well if you feel fun then i would like to say share share it with your friends and i would like to say stick with me by clicking the subscribe button it will help me a lot it will inspire me to make further quality full content thank you so much for watching if you have any questions just uh, feel free to write it in the comment section thank you again and see you in my next video